Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about triangles. Yay! And our goal today is to be answer questions based on a diagram or a hierarchy about triangles. So before we get any further, today's lesson would have been brought to you by Charmin. However, there was no toilet paper at the grocery store. But there were cookies. No, no, toilet paper is cooking my mouth. Oh, that was that was a bad idea. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about triangles, and we're going to start by classifying them. But you can classify triangles in two different ways: one by angle measurements, and one by side length. So let's start by classifying triangles by angle measurements. So first triangle we're going to talk about is the acute triangle. It is so acute because it is all the angles are less than 90 degrees. So how do you know if something's 90 degrees? Well, see the corner of your paper right here? It is always going to be 90 degrees. So you can put it into all the corners and see if it is less than 90 degrees. And all the corners in this triangle are less than 90 degrees, so that makes it an acute triangle. And so anytime a triangle where all angles are less than 90 degrees, makes an acute triangle. Next we have the right triangle. So once again, we are going to look at the edge of your paper, 90 degrees, and see if it fits in that triangle. Yep, and if it matches exactly, it is exactly 90 degrees, that makes it a right triangle. Now all the interior angles of a triangle measure to 180 degrees. So what does that mean? All the angles on the inside add up to 180 degrees. So if you have 180 degrees on the inside of your triangle, and one of them is 90 degrees, the other two of them have to be what angle? Together, they have to be 90 degrees. So can you have more than one triangle, or one angle in a triangle that is 90 degrees? No, it, the other two are gonna have to be less than 90 degrees, which means that a right triangle is gonna only have one right angle, or one angle that has 90 degrees. The other two are gonna be, oh, they're so cute, they're such a so cute angles, oh, they're so lovely. All right, so that is a right triangle. Next we have the obtuse triangle. And if we measure, take our piece of paper again, 90 degrees, if we put it into that one angle, then it is more than 90 degrees. Even if it is 91 degrees, that is more than 90 degrees. Even if it is 90 and one-tenth degrees, that is more than 90 degrees, which makes it an obtuse triangle. So that's how that works. So that is one obtuse triangle. The other two are going to be, oh yes, again, they're so cute. Oh, they're not cute triangles. Oh, it's so cute. All right, so that is how we classify triangles based on angle measurements. So let's give you a couple shots. Let's give you a couple triangles, and you're gonna see if you can classify these triangles based on their angle measurements. So let's, what about this angle? Yeah, all angles are less than 90 degrees, which makes it an acute triangle. Oh, it's so cute. What about this one? Right, if you take your piece of paper, it is more than 90 degrees, which makes it obtuse. So that's obtuse triangle. Okay, so now we've, we've measured and we've practiced a couple on angle measurements. Now, there is another way we can classify them is by, by side length. So let's look at side length. First, let's take the, this triangle here. Now notice, there are little lines representing each side. Now this one has one, this one has two, this one has three, which means that they are all different. So if you have two that are the same, that means those sides are the same. But since every single one of these has a different number of dashes, that means that they're all different, which means this triangle is going to be scalene. Like the scales of the fish, they're all different. Not sure if that's true, but that's how I remember it. So, scalene, all sides are different. Now, sometimes you won't have these lines, but if they're all different lengths, then that means it's going to be a scalene triangle. So let's put that in this diagram over here. Next, we have an isosceles triangle. So, what is unique about isosceles? Now, biggest misconception is with isosceles triangle because the definition is at least two sides of the same. Now that's where it gets interesting, because it's at least, it's not exactly two sides the same, it's at least two sides the same. 
So on this one, this is an isosceles triangle. It has two sides of the same. You can see that by the dashes. But is there another case? So let's look at this. Put that in our diagram. So let's look at this last one. Equilateral. All sides of the same length. But let's think about our classification of an isosceles. It says at least two sides the same. So does this triangle have at least two sides the same length? It does. So that makes this equilateral triangle is a specialized isosceles triangle. It is, it is still an isosceles triangle, but it is a special isosceles triangle in that all three sides are the same length. So that is what's unique about this one. And the biggest misconception is that an equilateral triangle is not an isosceles triangle, which it is because it has at least two sides the same. It, but it is special because it has all three. So that would make this one, our diagram, look like this, which is a little different than a lot of people see. But an equilateral is still an isosceles triangle. So we have our three ways we can classify a triangle based on side length. So let's give a couple practice ones. So what do you think this triangle is? Yeah, all three sides are different, which makes it scaling. Good job. What do you think this triangle is? Well, all three sides are the same, which means it's an equilateral, but it is also an isosceles. Exactly. Now that we've gone over our two ways to classify triangles, let's try classifying them by side length and by angle. So I'm going to give you a couple examples, like for instance, this one. So this triangle is all the angles are less than 90 degrees, and they're all the same. So this one is going to be an acute equilateral. So let me have you try a couple. What about this one? Right. It is a right scalene. It is a right because it has the right angle with the measure of the paper. Took the corner. Right. But all sides are different, which makes it scalene. Good. What about this one? Right. If you take your piece of paper, the angle is more than 90 degrees, which means it is obtuse. But you have two sides that are the same length, which means that it is obtuse isosceles because it has at least two sides the same length. And let's try one more. What is this one? Well, all angles are less than 90 degrees and they are all different, which means that it is acute scalene. Excellent. Well, we're really getting good at this. Now, one last thing I want you to do is in another video on quadrilaterals, I talked about making a Venn diagram, so a different type of diagram. I'm going to do the same thing. So now we have this diagram right here. It's actually two diagrams, right? So we have one for angle measurements, one for side length. I want you to fill in the blanks. So take a minute, fill in the blanks on those diagrams. All right, so what did you get? Uh, right here on the angle measurement, you should have gotten right triangle. So that's what would go in that one. And on the bottom one, right underneath inside the isosceles triangle there's another circle and that one would be equilateral so that would go there so that is what we're looking at so this is another diagram you might actually see to classify a triangle so or a couple diagrams to help you classify triangles so that's basically it asking questions on how we can we can classify triangles based on length and angle measurement all right that's it uh, if you have any questions, please ask your teacher, fill in the questions below that we have in the form for you. Alright, thanks, bye.